Hi, this is Mike with Icon, and today we have the Platform M Plus along with a Platform D. It's the uh, smaller screen, but it's all we had in the studio today, so we're going to use that uh, just for visual. And um, what we're demonstrating is the new upgrade, firmware upgrade version 2.0. And uh, there's some, some changes here, and I think that you'll find this interesting. Uh, first thing, let's turn on the M+. And you can see that we're at the previous version 1.07, and we are in new window uh, mode selected. So the biggest change here that we have with this version 2.0 is that we are no longer selecting um, DAW modes, we're going to be selecting control modes, and I'll show you exactly what that means when we do the upgrade. So let's go ahead and do the upgrade. First thing you want to do is go to the iconproaudio.com site, and from there you can click on downloads, and control surfaces. The first page has the M+. If it's not there, you can go to see all 24 articles. will be on the second page, but in this case, it's still on the first page. And there it is, the uh, IMAP for the version 2.0 Windows and version 2.0 Mac. We happen to be on a Windows machine today, Windows 10. And I've already downloaded the file and I've installed it. And it's right here, the IMAP version 2.0. And here it is, control mode. You can see now we have, instead of the DAWs, we have four different modes. We have MCP, MCP which stands for Mackie Control P Protocol. Wow, say that three times really fast. And then <laughs> Logic Pro. Uh, mode and UE mode which is mostly for Pro Tools and the user defined mode which is for custom mapping and we will get into that more in a, um, a future video. So right now um, I'm going to go ahead and do the firmware upgrade to version 2.0 click on firmware upgrade and click OK it's about to start we get our five step uh, upgrade process and click connect and we're currently at 1.07 click connect and we're going to go to step two, erase. And you can see that the screen shows that we're in firmware upgrade mode. Uh, step three, and we're going to choose 1.00, which is a basic stripped down version of the firmware uh, preparing for the upgrade. And then step four, we're going to select our version. Okay, so here, if you're connected to the internet, uh, you will be able to get the latest versions that are available. Uh, here's the 2.0. If you were not connected to the internet, um, if you can't get an internet connection, you'll have to go back to the website and download this uh, firmware 2.0, and that'll be that .bin BIN file that you'll use here in step four. You'll browse your computer, so remember where you downloaded to, and you'll browse to that and bring, bring that file in. But uh, it's probably better if you have a connection doing this because it, like I said it'll be there and you won't have to worry about going and downloading it and finding it. Click on load and um, now we're ready to do the actual upgrade. Step five uh, again be very careful with the upgrade step because you don't want to interrupt it at any point you don't want to lose power uh, just let it do its thing. All right, cool. So you'll see that it reboots on its own. And you can see real fast there, it said 2.0, and we are now in MCP mode. Uh, it's detecting if there's any expansion modules, such as um, Platform B+. In this case, I don't have any connected. Um, so and finally, it gets to the MCP mode selected, and we are ready. So I'll close my upgrader. I will close my IMAP. And, um, the next thing I want to do here, I, I usually do this as a uh, precaution just because uh, we want to make sure our device is up, updated as well inside the computer. So go ahead to your search here and type in control panel. Usually you could just type in control and it finds it. Put in control panel and I like to use that because it's the old Windows 7 panel, which I prefer. And under here, under hardware and sound, cl uh, click on view devices and printers. All right, so under my devices, I have a um, Platform M Plus version 2.0, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that and choose properties. And everything looks fine here, but under the hardware tab, 
I see that I still have version 1.07 that's in there. So again, what I like to do is I like to just remove that device, make sure I get the latest hardware, and you need to turn off the M Plus, turn it back on again, and let the computer find the device. This could take a minute or two um, to, to finish its process, so let it complete it and make sure you wait until the very end to make sure your, your new device is in there and I'll show you. So here we have a, it just shows that we're setting up the device. And again, we're waiting, we're waiting until the device actually is fully set up. There it is, the device is ready. Here's my M plus 2.0 and if I go to properties again, right click properties and I go to hardware, I see that it now says 2.0, so I know I have the right hardware, I have the right device, everything looks good. Okay, so close that window, and um, now we're gonna do, we're gonna set it up actually in one of the DAWs, so you can see how these four control modes uh, work, and how you no longer have to choose what DAW you're in, but instead the control mode. Um, so let me go ahead and open Cubase. All right, so let's go ahead and open Cubase and see how to set this up. And here I have my um, project is open. I go to my devices, device setup, as you would normally do. Uh, in the list here, you want to click on transport and click the plus sign up here. And we want to add a Mackie control, not a Mackie baby or UE or a Mackie UE or any other any other of these controllers, we want to make sure it's just the standard, standard Mackie control. And over here, we want to make sure we have MIDI input is set to the M plus 200, MIDI output the same. And hit apply, and you can see that the mixer is now communicating with Cubase. And um, basically, that's it, you're ready to go. So we're in MCP mode and uh, we set it up as we normally do in the devices set up of Cubase and we are connected and ready to, to uh, start making some music. So let me just show you now if let's say you were to um, use a different DAW like uh, Pro Tools. Uh, basically what you would do, let me shut my uh, Cubase and we would go ahead and turn off the machine because we have to select a different controller. Turn it back on. And here in the beginning, we have to select like we used to do with the DAWs. Instead, now we're selecting the different control mode. And as you can see, the LED is going one through four. So we just that's all we have is one through four. Number three is the UE. So we'll go ahead and select UE. Again, it's detecting to see if there's any platform B plus or any other expansion device or like an X plus or a B plus. And I'm now in UE mode selected. And from here, you would just open your Pro Tools and follow the setup procedure just like you normally do. Make sure you have your uh, input and output as the platform M plus version 2.00 and you should have your connection. If you have any assistance with setting up any of the DAWs, you can always go to the iComproaudio.com website, click on control surfaces, choose the control surface they're working with. In this case, it is the platform M plus, and then scroll down to the different tabs and click on setup demos. And from here, you can choose your uh, DAW that you're working with. In this case, we were using Pro Tools. So let's select Pro Tools and the PDF will pop up with all the steps for you to follow. You can print this out or just look at it online and you should have all the information you need. So that uh, pretty much wraps up this um, demonstration of how to use, how to uh, upgrade and use the new version 2.0 firmware on the platform M Plus. As always, if you have any questions at all, please go to iComproaudio.com, click on Help Center, and then click on submit a request and you can send us any of your questions directly. 
and we'll open a ticket and get back to you. All right, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video.